Hi everyone, my name is Will Harden. I'm a coach with Evoke and a pro road racer with Project Echelon. This is day number four of the Gateway Cup 2023. It's a pretty gnarly course, pretty fun. We're gonna jump right in to the first lap here. Jumping through, start finish line. They've called the, the race short, so they cut off five laps at the end of the race due to a storm rolling in. Winds are howling. Everybody's getting a little nervous because the race is ending earlier than expected. I'm going to try and move my way up. I just went from 30th wheel to close to 10th wheel there into the last corner, but everybody else is doing the same thing. So that butcher box guy almost lost it on the outside. I'm going to lose a few positions, trying not to crash into the back of him, and then I'm going to have to make those positions back up throughout this lap. You can see all the corners in the bottom left there. There's a right-hander coming up. They had a lot of potholes in these corners. I'm going to move up through as well, many of the corners as I can, but a lot of people are chopping me here. So I've lost some wheels already. This guy on the left, Cesar Marte in the white, he actually ended up getting second for the race. So keep an eye on where he goes and where I go in relation. Coming through this corner, nice and smooth, super fast corner. Could get pushed into that curb. You see everybody exiting into that curb. So something to keep out for. I see uh, Juan Arango moving up on the left for Denver Disruptors here. So I'm going to try and hop on that wheel, jump on his wheel, and Noah Granning and his teammates' wheel there. Another ACG rider jumps on their wheel. So I'm going to hop that train, try to follow it as far up as I possibly can. The people on the front, the Blazers, they're trying to defend that corner, and it's making the race move side to side a good bit. There a guy goes off the front. I think that's Iman Lucas from the Aviators. He's going to send it into this corner and get a little gap. It's kind of getting weird here. There's not a full team on the front pulling anything back. American Cycling Group's waiting to take up the pace, and everybody else is just trying to move up the best they can. There's a lot of ones and twos. Coming into the corner before, I actually had my teammate on my wheel, but he flatted out. So now it's on me to get the best result I possibly can. We come into that corner and a guy crashes right behind us. You can see in the shoulders back there and then his bike, you can see just slide out to the outside. So we came into that corner the same speed. I guess I just had a little more traction than he did and took a, a slightly different line. Jumping right back in here. There's a few corners left. It's getting really tense. It's on us to move up as fast as we possibly can. Coming into a right-hander, this one enters into kind of the last straight that you can move up into. So everybody's opening up, trying to get as far up as possible. I'm just in the wheels doing eight to 700 watts, super hard. Gonna try and move up on the right side here. And yet I'm gonna try and save energy at the same time, hoping I can I can move up at a critical point. It's really bumpy on the outside, so I'm just getting bumped around. Trying to go into this corner in a good position. Really into the last corner, you're set with the position you entered it, so you're not gonna make up too much position. People are diving into that one. You can see Caesar actually jumped really far into the front there and ended up second place from pretty much right next to me into two corners to go. We are Coming to the last corner here, really tight to the finish, so not a lot of run in. I'm probably 15th into this last corner, and then we open up a sprint. My legs are hurting. I've been attacking a lot this race, so I'm going to dive right back behind this Texas Roadhouse guy and then jump through for 13th in the finish. I squeezed into 10th overall with that little effort. Jordan Para and Cesar Marte and Danny Summerhill were your top three. You can find me on YouTube at Will Harden and contact us at evoke.bike. Thanks for watching.